Welcome to Entertainment Wednesday. And I gotta start with um some irritating news. I hope it doesn't happen. It shouldn't happen. Sandra Bullock, um, who won an Oscar for The Blind Side. There are people out there saying that she should give up the Oscar. Huh? First of all, she didn't direct the movie. She didn't write the movie. She didn't produce the movie. She was given the script. She memorized it. She knocked it out the ballpark and she won an Oscar. Whatever soliloquy that is happening right now with the story with um, Michael Orr um, suing the family, the family that took him in, now this movie is being tainted. Her performance is being tainted. Now people want to take, want her to to give up the Oscar. Hell no, hell no. I have written on my blog as soon as the story came out and I failed to not, I should have taken my time writing it, but I'm gonna go back and, and I'm gonna re-edit some things because I said that I basically won't view the movie the same way because I was basically on Michael Orr's side. But when I started really thinking about this through over and over and over and over again and do a little bit more research as I should have done, this is a case of ungratefulness. This is a case of stupidity. It's just so many things I can go into. Like... Yeah, I'm gonna re-edit that, uh, that blog post. I'm gonna re-edit that because it just, I mean, every day is like I'm hearing something new about this story. And I feel that it could have been handled way much better by Michael Orr. But come on, to take Sandra Bullock, Bullock's Oscar, which she won it in 2010, That's 13 years ago. A role that she earned, that she won. Again, she didn't write, produce, or direct it. She was the leading actress. Like, come on, let, let, let's be reasonable here. Quentin Aaron, who plays Michael Orr in The Blind Side, I love the way he came to defend Sandra Bullock. He basically said, there were so many things he said, but the thing that stuck out to me the most is when he said, go get a job. Meaning the internet fools, the trolls saying, you know, go get a job. It's true, people need to go get a job. But um, that, come on, come on. And I hope that doesn't happen. Sandra doesn't need to do that. But this is what happens when you take someone in and this happens a lot in real life um when someone is at their lowest of the lowest and they need help and when you find somebody that takes you in that helps you out that um that takes you out of that foxhole that doesn't leave you in that foxhole most of the time Years later, that person doesn't fully appreciate you. That person ends up for, you know, forgetting you. They, the best way I could put it is, who helps the person that helps others? There's a lot of ungrateful people in this world, unfortunately. Most people, a lot of people that have been through the lowest of the lows, whether it's homeless, whether it's um, 
it could be so many bad situations and then when they meet someone that helps them through that and then in, later on when they get their life um structured they they improve their lives they they're no longer struggling whatever they completely forget the person that helped, that gave them their hand i know because i've even seen that in my own family but i personally i can never do that I can never turn my back on someone, sue someone, do anything that is harmful and malicious to someone that basically gave me life, that basically took me in, that was there for me through the hardest times of my life. I can't do that. I can't see myself doing that. So right now, Michael Orr, he's looking bad right now. Um, in terms of the way he's handling this, you know, years after this movie came out, years after he retired, um, he recently came out a book. I got to read his 2011 um, book, which is called I Beat the Odds, something like that. And um, and yeah, I'm going to continue watch the movie and I'm going to rewatch the movie. I regret saying that on my blog post that, oh, I can't view the movie the same way because I immediately um, came to the aid of Michael Orr. But after doing more research, after um, thinking about it through and through, nah, hell no, nah, hell no, nah, no. Nah. And The Blind Side is a hell of a good movie. I loved it. Um, it's a feel good movie. It did well in the box office. So yeah, I gotta rewatch that movie. I mean, now that with these things going on, I gotta rewatch that movie. I've only seen it once. Um, and I gotta read that book, that 2011 book, and probably the new latest book that, that Michael Orr released, um, just to, you know, fill in and get myself more familiar with the situation. But yeah, I had to let it all out. That's the first one. The second one, um, welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? That's right, the sequel to Good Burger will happen with Keenan and Kel. I am so looking forward to this. I'm hoping that it's better than the 1997 one. Um, I doubt it, but I'm really, really hoping that the sequel is better than the first one. The third and final part of this Entertainment Wednesday, um, Kelsey Grammer, Frazier, after 19 years, it's back and um i'm looking forward to it frazier is one of the best written sitcoms i've ever seen is one of my favorite written sitcoms i've ever seen it's one of those sitcoms that it's an inspiration to me in terms of how you should write comedy i love the smart sophisticated element to this series um i'm looking forward to see how this new version will be um, because I love um, Frasier, 11 seasons of Frasier, um, arguably the most successful spinoff in TV sitcom history. I won't, I won't blame anyone if they say overall, but um, Frasier, so many great memories um, watching Frasier. So... Yeah, I can't wait to see the new version. Thank you for watching Entertainment Wednesday. You guys already know, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And as always, be safe. May God bless you all.